Good morning, you guys. So in today's video, I want to talk to you about a niche fragrance brand from the house of BDK. I have five fragrances from the line that I want to review, and I will let you know my thoughts on them. I did have an opportunity to play with these to see how long they last, um, how they perform on my skin. So if this is something that you're interested in, please stay tuned. Guys, before I start the video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, letting you know my content, and hit the bell to let you know when I upload new content. Okay, so let's get started. So you guys, the first fragrance I want to start with is from BDK, like I said, and it is one of the first ones that I actually bought and absolutely fell in love with, and it is Grease Chanel. Um, this is, oh, you guys, this is a, you know, I keep forgetting how good this stuff smells. This is a fragrance that is so beautiful, so eclectic, so boss, so classy. This fragrance is for the woman who is confident, who knows who she is, what she wants, and she's not taking no crap from anybody. When she walks into the room, you're going to smell her. That's the first thing you're going to do. When she leaves the room, she's going to leave her scent trail. So, this is 100 ml, um, and the notes are here are fig, nor, iris, vetiver, santal, and tonka. Everything that I love. This is certainly not a blind buy because it is strong, but a good strong. You only need a little bit of this. This, oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, it smells so good. I actually layer this with... Uh, either a vanilla body cream or something with some cherries in it or something with some fig this is just delicious this lasts on me for eight hours I don't know how long it would last on you guys but for me it lasts on it lasts eight hours um, projection is fire sillage is fire everything I absolutely love this fragrance again do not blind buy this um, this is retails for 190 either 195 or 210 uh, I believe yes and I bought all these with my own coins none of these was gifted to me I'm not getting paid for um, promoting this or anything it's just something that I love I absolutely love this fragrance it oh it is so good it's, it's really good you guys um, the next one on my list is pretty popular I've heard a lot of females talk about this one a lot of reviewers on YouTube and Instagram um, by the way, you guys, I am on Instagram. I'll link everything at the end of this video. Um, but the next one I want to talk to you guys about is Rouge Smoking. This one, they say, reminds uh, you of Tom Ford Lost Cherry. To me, it doesn't because it's sweeter than Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Lost Cherry, you can really smell the cherry scent in there or whatever. And it's, it's more tart. This one is sweet. It's not, this one is sweet and spicy. Although Tom Ford's Lost Cherry is sweet and spicy, but this one is a little bit sweeter. And actually, I don't really gravitate towards sweet fragrances. I actually don't really like sweet fragrances if they're over syrupy, but this one is, is doable for me. Um, the notes in this is cherries, rose, bergamot, vanilla, tonka, and broxen, cas, cashmere, lem, let me get this, try to get this right, lobotanum, and musk. Okay, I have played with this and layered it with the Tom Ford Lost Cherry, and the two together is fire. But guess what's even better than Tom Ford with this? These two layered together. Grease Char the Grease Charnel and the Rouge Smoking layered together. Jeez, little girls, ladies, guys, dolls, kiddos. These two layered together is like, yes, honey. Fire. She has arrived. She is that boss B. Don't play with her. Don't say nothing to her. She's one of them women like, look, I'm here. Let's get it going on. I don't have time for the mess. Okay. This and this together is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Um, the only thing I don't like about the Rouge Smoking 
is that it doesn't last as long. You really have to layer with this one. I've layered this with vanilla um, body creams. I've layered this with um, raspberry body creams. Um, I even layered this with a mango body cream and it smells really good. You gotta kind of play with things. Um, the key to layering the fragrances and body creams is to look for similar notes. And this is how I get this one to last longer. Um, and I also overspray this one. This one I have to overspray and take a decant with me to make it last, even with my lotion, my body cream. But remember um, to always, this is what gets me. When you put your perfume on, you guys, please don't do this because you 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 taint the notes basically. And make sure you clean. Don't don't spray on a funky body or an unscrubbed body. I don't understand that. Some people just spray and not pay attention. You gotta spray your post points. You gotta know your post points and layer properly. And don't rub your fragrances in. You, you won't get the notes. You didn't mess it up at that point. But if, like I said, if you want to have some fun, layer these two together. You'll be absolutely fascinated by the fragrance. Um, yeah, you guys, I need my nails done. Don't trip, okay? <laughs> so anyway, Rouge Smoking by BDK. Next on the list is another one that is new to the BDK line, actually. And it is Velvet Tonka. Okay, this was a blind buy for me. And it smells really beautiful. It's soft, it's creamy, it's, it's spicy. It has just enough spice, just enough cream, just enough femininity. Oh, it's good. And actually, in my opinion, all BDK fragrances can be unisex except for one. And I'll let you know what that one is. Um, but this one has orange, rose, um, absolute tabac, tonka, vanilla, amorous, and ambrasse. To me, it's a powdery fragrance. And again, there's fragrances too types of fragrances that I really don't lean on is powdery and sweet sugary. But this one is a good powdery, spicy, creamy, musky fragrance. And I don't, this, I don't, it's, sometimes I wonder if it's a, a, a oud note in here that, that they're not saying because it has like that, it leans on that woody, woody kind of thing. Um, but you know, it's the Tonka. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Tonka beans, sandalwood, oud. Um, now, the funny thing is, you guys, I really wasn't a big, well, let me say, let me take that back. I'm not big on vanilla based scents. That's heavy, heavy, heavy on the vanilla. It's just something about it that just is not me. It's, it actually gives me a headache. This, if it has just a just enough vanilla, I'm good. And this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this scent. This one lasts on me. Um, at first, I thought that I had to heavy spray. So the first time that I wore this, because it was so soft and creamy, I was like, oh, let me spray heavy. No, I didn't have to. In fact, I kind of was like, oh my God, I sprayed too much. This last and last and last. At the end of the day, I could still smell it. And I have to be at work at 6 o'clock. So I end up, I spray my fragrances after my shower at like 5.15 in the morning. When I got off at 3.30, I could still smell it. When I came home, I could still smell it. I worked out. Even though I was sweaty and everything, I could still smell this. This absolutely is beautiful and when I want to have something calming in my bed like when I get in the bed I spray some of this on my pillows and because it's just so smooth and so relaxing and so creamy it's just so beautiful it, it, it's just really a great scent and when I spray it on my pillows and stuff you guys I feel like I'm in a spa it's just good I think this is just like oh I just absolutely love it one thing I love about the BDK line is that the notes are just 
beautifully blended together. I love how the bottles are. I mean, the bottles are heavy. Look, you can hold it by the lid like this. Nothing happens. But yeah, you guys, you will absolutely love this. And I know a lot of you are familiar with this line, but this is absolutely beautiful. And so I did play with this one as well, and I mixed it with Grease Charnel. So the Velvet Talk and then Grease Charnel mixed is so good, you guys, but you only need a little of each. So I sprayed one and one um, on each post point, then one together on another post point, one and one. The magic happened it, and people were like what are you wearing what are you wearing and so i was letting them know oh i did a layering now layering is new to me you know i've been in the fragrance grant game for a long time but i just started experimenting with layering and it's so fun because you never know what you're gonna get so again you guys you can mix um bdk with either passe soir which is delicious or the Gris Charnel, which is delicious. So I've mixed all three of these, okay? Not all at once, but I've mixed the Velvet Tonka with the Passe Soir, and I've mixed the Velvet Tonka with the Gris Charnel. I wanna try to mix the Velvet Tonka with the Rouge Smoking, but yeah, we'll see. But definitely, I did it with these three, the Passe Soir, which brings me to my next one. This is my all-time favorite BDK, the Passe Soir. I don't know what it is about this one, but it's just a beautiful, 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 beautiful fragrance, okay? Let me just get the notes for you guys. The notes in this is Essence of Ginger, Jasmine, Chutney, Floor, uh, uh, Amber, and Patchouli. It's the patchouli no for me you guys i love patchouli but it's not a heavy patchouli in here that's the thing it's not a heavy patchouli it's sweet is fresh i don't it to me it could be a fresh floral type of fragrance but more so fresh and soft and creamy and i think this is gonna be my scent for today and look how you guys it's so pretty it's so feminine this reminds me of someone that's in the park you know you're in the park or you're sitting outside reading a book somewhere or at the park in your white dress and you have on you know your little cute sandals and your your cute Christian Dior bag or your little Celine bag you know your little sunglasses and you you looking like yes I'm that girl and you minding your business or you know you drinking your coffee while you just sightseeing and looking at everybody, knowing that you look cute and you smell good. <laughs> That's how this fragrance makes me feel, you guys. It's beautiful. It's just a very well done fragrance. And you guys, it's not that much of a dent in here. I, I really need to start putting more dents in these fragrances. Um, but it's, it's, it's just beautiful. And then... When I tell you guys, I really like the mixture of the Passe Soir and the Velvet Tonka together more so than anything. Because the Passe Soir is so mellow and, you know, soft. And then you have the Velvet Tonka that's like a beast mode Tonka, uh, spicy, you know, in your face type fragrance. But the two together is a balance of both. And they both just, you know, set everything off. This one, you know, you wear when you're more relaxing. And then if you want to go out, say you went out on a date. And, you know, you're trying to impress your man, your boo, your babe, whatever. Then you mix it with the Velvet Tonka and let him know, yes, I'm here. You know, your first date, you want to leave him something to remember you by. Then you mix these two. This is beautiful. A Passe Soir by BDK. Finally, on the list of my BDK fragrance review is Tuberose Imperial. If you like Tuberose, you're going to love this. Now, this reminds me of Marc Jacobs. The very first, Mar well, not the very first, but the Marc Jacobs perfume that has the black top. You guys remember that one with the square 
uh, bottle is Marc Jacobs Mark. This is what that puts me in the picture of. If you like patchouli, if you like jasmine, you'll love this one. Now, it's not an overly done patchouli. It's not an overly done jasmine. But you can tell that what those fragrances, I mean, I'm sorry, what those scents are. And this one is tuberose, jasmine, santal, jasmine sandbar, ylang ylang, and essence de cypress. This kind of also reminds me of Le Labo Santal 33, just a bit. Le Labo Santal 33 is much stronger. This one is softer. So that's if you like a softer version of the Marc Jacobs Mark and a softer version of the Santal 33 uh, by Le Labo, then you will love this BDK Tuberose Imperial because it's softer, it's good, it's juicy. It's not, it's not spicy. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. It's not like a sugary, syrupy sweet. Referencing Stinky or Ariana. Sorry, you guys know how I feel about that one. But that's, you know, that's how I have to tell you guys how I rate my sugary sweets. This one is not overly sweet. It's good. It's, it's, it's just beautiful. It's delicious. It's magic. I absolutely love Jasmine and tuberose and patchouli noted fragrances and this one does not disappoint it's really good see i can smell the passe four <laughs> it's really good both of them are so good you guys i absolutely love this now you want to know what my favorite is of all of these though um even though i absolutely love jasmine and tuberose and things like that um, I, I like fragrances where I know that I could wear all around. Um, I know I don't really care about seasons or whatever, so to speak. But you know, when you go into offices, you, you got to kind of be mindful of your counterpart. So um, I wouldn't be able to wear this one as much as I would like to in the office. And so, because you know, anyway, that's a whole nother subject, you guys. Um, so out of all the, out of all these fragrances that I absolutely love, um, the one that I mostly wear because of the office is the Passe Soir because it's soft and it's not offensive. Um, it's not a head, like you can't give nobody a headache, hopefully by that. And believe it or not, the Grease right now. To, in my opinion. Now, everybody else could say, what, the Grisha Nail is stronger than the Two Girls Imperial. Not to me, because the patchouli and the jasmine is just so pungent in this, the Two Girls Imperium, is that it's stronger, in my opinion. Now, everybody's body chemistry is different. To me, the Grisha Nail, the dry down for me is really soft, and I don't have to worry about if I'm offending anyone into the office. It's so good. So this is my absolute favorite, okay? The Gris Chanel. I love them all, don't get me wrong, but if I had to go grab one every day that I just absolutely love, it would be this Gris Chanel. So, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little quick review of my BDK line. Um, let me know your thoughts. Do you own any of these fragrances? Let me know how you feel about it and what's your fragrance, um, what's your favorite, you know, drop me the line down below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you guys soon. I will be uploading more content. It's just been crazy, you guys. Um, yeah, before I go, you know, I'm an office manager. I'm always busy. Um, it's just like boom, boom, boom all the time with me. Go, 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 go. So I really enjoy recording content for you guys and giving you my opinions on different fragrances i'm gonna try to be more active into my channel um i'm sorry i just cannot stop smelling this i'm sorry that i sprayed this stupid passe sword now i want to wash it off and wear this one it's so delicious I, i'm just gonna layer it it's, it is what it is yeah i'll layer it but anyway i'm gonna be better at um, uploading content for you guys because i have so many fragrances that i just want to share with you guys and i'm also going to do a little video so you guys can see all my fragrances and um you guys please follow me on instagram again i'll link it down below don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it and let me know your thoughts on the line of edk this is a wonderful line to have in your collection i highly suggest it 
if I was going to say to buy one first, it would absolutely be the Passe Soir or the Rouge Smoking. I think these are safe blind buys for, for everyone. The other three, um, I wouldn't blind buy. It's absolutely that you guys smell those first because they're a little, you know, they're out there. They're strong. So don't go blind buy those. For me, if I was like the notes, I'm going to blind buy. I've been... I had, as I said before, I had one bad blind buy, one bad blind buy, um, but now I'm getting used to it. So it is what it is. But yeah, though these two, the passage square and the rouge smoking, is safe blind buys. Okay. Anyway, you guys, I will see you soon. Thank you for stopping by. Have a nice day, you guys. Bye.